Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Brock Lawley Program. My name is Brock Lawley. I am your fearless host. Happy Labor Day, or should I say in 2016 America. Happy No Labor Going On Day. Uh, Joblessness Day. Barack Obama Economy Day. Happy 93 Million Americans Out of Work Day. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't know if you've realized or heard or heard whisperings or heard in the rumor mill. Um, very likely you haven't. And even if you have, apparently 50% of America is yawning themselves to sleep at the sound. Hillary Clinton has acid bleached her emails. And, t- and, and take this, in the 13 devices that she now has, this is all re- released. A, a, a document dump, by the way, on a Friday afternoon right before Labor Day. You think that's coincidental? If you do, I have a bridge to sell you. She's smashing up her devices with hammers. How many times have you had the uh, occasion or reason to do such a thing in your life? Did you know that there were acid bleach programs for your email? I didn't know that. Want to know why I didn't know that? I'm not selling the State Department to profit myself. Did you know that Hillary Clinton had 13 devices? 13, count them 13. That's one more than a baker's dozen, ladies and gentlemen. Trafficking in in, um, security breach, security violation information while Secretary of State. She's got her staffers. By the way, this is all proven in the FBI report. Comey should be ashamed of himself, by the way. Ashamed of himself. Should resign immediately if he had any honor at all. But ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to report that to you because I know the alphabet soup would rather, rather gnaw off their own leftist a water, water-carrying water arm than report it to you. By the way, if C- I, I watched some CNN this morning. I was drinking my morning Joe. And uh, if CNN was carrying any more foreign, par- pol- foreign policy uh, failure water for Barack Obama, they'd they drown. I'm serious, they'd drown. Like a Titanic-type drowning. Barack Obama's over there in China getting disrespected and humiliated by Putin. Just remarkable. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's not why I'm talking to you. That's not, that's not the reason for today's podcast. The reason for today's podcast is you're, you're buck naked emperor. You're, uh, your man-child in chief. He was asked... Uh, Two things. Uh, one, I'm going to briefly touch on. He was, of course, asked about the uh, 49ers third string. Nobody sitting out the uh, Star Spangled Banner and the uh, national anthem. And he was like, "You know, well, uh, you know, if you brought attention to uh, important things. And uh, you know, my son was, uh, if I had a son, he'd be, uh, he'd be an African American boy that looked just like. You know, this guy cannot, cannot stay away from dividing." the nation by way of race. I mean, he just he doesn't have the ability to do it. He's he's apparently unable to do that. Worst president in human history. I just wanted to briefly touch on that, the irresponsibility of that as the na- you know the nation's cities are teetering on a civil unrest anyway and this clown says something like that. But that's not even what I wanted to talk about either. See, I'm just uh, I'm just throwing paint at the wall here. What I actually wanted to talk to you about is Barack Obama talking about cyber intrusions or however he worded it. Cyber Cyber breaches, or what have you. Now, what I find fascinating about the, the, the turn of phrase here is, you know, he's talking about how he's having trouble with the Russians and the Chinese uh, getting in there and, and, and unearthing the corruption that is the power brokers that, that govern and carve up the world and the globe. And I got to thinking about this. And, you know, obviously WikiLeaks sees a gap in betting in Hillary Clinton because WikiLeaks guy is no conservative. Uh, WikiLeaks, the WikiLeaks guy can't stand Donald Trump. But he sees such a dereliction of duty in the media that he feels the need to right the ship. He sees that she's corrupt. Well, I often wonder to myself, you know, these outfits like Anonymous and all these, th- these, these hacker guys, I actually think, I've begun to think, you know, the, the Snowdens and these kind of cats, I actually think they are the world's best hope. I do. Walk with me through this this labyrinth of thinking. Now, you got all these hackers out there. And, and I don't really know the reason. It could be profit. It could be destroying your enemies. I mean, certainly, as you see, China and Russia hacking the United States. That's all geopolitical. That's all, you know, it, it's the new Cold War, except for it's done with a keyboard or, you know, a poindexter. Now, now the reasons are not pure, but the result is, is, is something that's interested me. And the result is taking the veneer down um, 
exposing what these leaders are doing. I mean, in this case, it's time after time after time, Hillary Clinton and the DNC, throughout this election process. Now, now unfortunately, the WikiLeaks guys didn't count on you know, the carpet bombing of complacency that, that has that has occurred for the last 20 years in regards to the American electorate. So, you know, he, he, he lays it all out for them. You have a DNC that we've hacked their emails. We know that they've stolen the election from Bernie Sanders and delivered it. Um, signed, sealed, delivered to uh, Hillary Clinton, most corrupt candidate to ever breathe oxygen in Washington, D.C. So so they've proven that didn't matter, right? The DNC voters marched like a, like a herd of zombies towards the clanging of symbols that the media, uh, you know, projection artists and deflection artists uh, distracted them with. You got to be the WikiLeaks guys. Got to be like, what in the world? You know, they have to just be scratching their head. But nonetheless, these hackers are continuously wounding, wounding these powerful people. I remember there was a a huge shakedown in Europe where they exposed all this off offshore banking in South America, and there was this, you know, this huge. Uh, you know, dusting up, if you will. And I actually think this is awesome. I mean, everything you hear from the state is like, oh, this is a big issue. We got security breaches. The American people's safety is is at risk, possibly. But the American people's safety is at risk with this tomfoolery clown, clown show running the show. They're lying. They're stealing. They're, they're bribing. They're giving away millions and billions of dollars to our known enemies in Iran. I mean, you can't get any worse than this. So so breathe in a little fresh air, shine in a little light into that into that catacomb of corruption. It can't be anything but a good thing as far as I'm concerned. I'm, I'm telling you, we need more hacking. More hacking. Do you think the United States of America is the only one with empty suit, reptilian, uh, Benedict Arnold treasonous leaders? No. No, they're everywhere. And the hacking, ladies and gentlemen, is is the great equalizer. Now, unfortunately, these these hacking revelations are meeting, you know, a yawn fest in in the in the for the most part, at least in America. Maybe not so much in Europe. I can't speak to that as intelligently. Uh, maybe maybe the consequences and the ramifications are much much firmer over there from the people. I mean, I already know that Europe already has like a baked into the cake cultural response to anything they don't like. They the, the the Europeans will protest on the turn of a dime. They really will. You know, they don't like the weather. They'll start protesting in the streets. I did a lot of time traveling in Europe. And on more than one occasion, I caught myself in the um, inconveniences of European protests, specifically in France. So that's kind of good because you don't have complacency, right? It's a lot harder to get away with crap that the people are willing to take to the streets. Not so in the United States of America. Um, unless you're paid off, you know. If you're paid off... Uh, you know, media matters hacks that you'll show up and, and burn some stuff down and, and spit on people at a Trump rally. But I'm talking about like exposing people that are actually sitting in power governing governing over you. And we now know they're naked and transparent corruption. No, no response other than to circle the wagons. So here's the point of this podcast. I don't think when the media and the alphabet soup talk, comes on and talks, the president comes on and talks to you about the, the deep concern he has for all of this hacking that's going on. I think you should hear the opposite. I think you should hear the average Joe six pack, the average person benefited by this. And the reason that they want to seize more control of the internet and the reason that they want to stop this hacking is because it is un it is screwing with their carving up pumpkin style power, influence, and resources. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to the Brock Lawley program. Enjoy your unlabored day. If you have a job, cling to it like a life raft in this economy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to the Brock Lawley program. Be a people of fortitude. Be a people of character more than ever. Take it to the streets with courage.